Melbourne hosted two teams searching for the same goal on Sunday. The right to host the grand final in two weeks' time. Playing away from home, the Mystics needed a good start and that's just what they got. With the feeders finding Latu easily and Tutair on target, it looked like at times the only ones who could slow them down were themselves. Maintaining their lead right through the first half, the visitors were looking confident. So often we've seen the third quarter earn its name as the championship quarter, and this was no different. The Vixens found another gear and reeled in the Mystics' lead. All square after three periods, the stage was set for a frenetic final quarter. The Mystics again made changes to begin the fourth, but the Vixens had found their form. Mentor was massive in defence, shutting down the Mystics' attack, while Cordwell calmly collected goals as the Vixens eased away to book their place in the title game. Start to something that we've really wanted to focus on and put the pressure on the opposition, but um, yeah, it didn't happen today. But we knew it wasn't going to be, you know, done in the first quarter. It was going to be a 60-minute fight right to the end, and we were lucky to pull through in about the third quarter and hold onto the lead. That's really disappointing. I felt like, yeah, in that first half we were winning, but it was I didn't feel like we were playing anywhere near our best as well. I mean, we were being really patient with the ball, but. Um, and on defence we were getting a little bit, but it didn't, it didn't feel like the best. So it was disappointing that we couldn't put that out there this week. And so now we've got to go back and make sure that we do next week because it is do or die now. Maybe that's what we need, a little bit of extra pressure to have to win. Thanks.